All right, hi everyone. I'm Justin, this is Valley Hockey Talk. Um, I'm gonna be talking about the Braden Shank contract in just a minute. I just wanna thank everyone for watching and remind everyone to please like and subscribe, it's much appreciated. All right, so Braden Shen of the St. Louis Blues, as you can see here, has signed an eight year, $52 million contract in total, which carries an average annual cap hit of 6.5 million. So this is a big long-term contract for the St. Louis Blues player that just won the Stanley Cup. Uh, he's currently playing on the first line with the Blues between Schwartz and Tarasenko. He's a very physical player. Um, and I think the 6.5 average annual cap hit is a really good cap hit for your first line center or second line center. Um, he's also been shown to, he can play the wing as well if, say, O'Reilly takes over the center spot and they want to really load a lineup. Um, so he's a really versatile guy. All the players in the room really like him. Um, so I think it's a great signing, except for the fact that it's an eight-year contract. So I think if they could have got him for five years, it would have been a great contract. The only problem is, is that he's 28 years old. So this contract's going to bring him into, he's about 36 years old. Which, you know, everybody knows, typically, that players start to decline once they get into their 30s. Especially once they start getting into their mid-30s, 34, 35, 36. I know there are exceptions, but typically... When guys play really physically, like Shen does, they hit a lot, they get in the mix a lot, they get in the corners a lot. Uh, their body tends to wear down faster, uh, their knees, their back, their hips, so be it. Many things wear out. Um, I'm not saying it's going to happen with Shen. Maybe he's, you know, one of the outliers that can play well into his late 30s. Um, I'm just saying that I personally don't like an eight-year contract for a 28-year-old player. Um, that 6.5 cap hit's probably going to be an issue in those later years. Now, I know the actual salary that he's going to be paid is reduced a little bit. Um, so they could, they're probably thinking they could probably pawn the contract off to some team that needs just uh, to get to the cap floor or something, and they can get an asset back or something like that. Um, I'm just thinking with the Falk contract, you're signing an older guy long-term, and then with the Shen contract, you're signing an older guy long-term. Uh, you're getting some older, like big contracts when these guys are in their early, early to late 30s. So it's not great. Uh, that way, but Shen had 54 points in 72 games last year, 17 goals. A little bit of a down year last year. Again, though, he was a vital piece of the team, especially in the playoffs. Um, and the year before that, he actually had 70 points in 82 games and 28 goals. So he had a really, really solid year the year before that. Um, and like I said, he plays the wing. He can play center. He can play physical. Um, he can get in your face. He can do a lot of things out there. So I like the player. I like the 6.5. I do not like the eight years. Um, I would have liked to see five. Um, four would have been perfect, but five would have been acceptable. Uh, but Armstrong, I'm sure, is rewarding the guys that won the cup. And you can definitely, we've seen it with all the teams that have won cups. Um, they usually reward their players. Uh, and even though we think that they're going to be bad contracts in the later parts of their tenure with the team. So anyways, that's my thoughts on the contract. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll see you next time.